The temple in Jerusalem, which had been rebuilt by Herod the Great, was one of the wonders of the ancient world. People came from everywhere to marvel at its size and magnificence. Jesus has been spending his final week in Jerusalem teaching in the temple, but apparently his disciples don't think that he's been appreciative enough of the beauty of the temple around them. As Jesus was leaving the temple, one of his disciples said to him, Look, teacher, what massive stones, what magnificent buildings. Do you see all these great buildings, replied Jesus. Not one stone here will be left on another. Every one will be thrown down. The disciples were enormously proud of the temple in Jerusalem, and rightly so. It was one of the marvels of the ancient world. But Jesus was looking into the future, when, within 40 years, the temple would be destroyed by the Romans. Jesus was a prophet, but it was inconceivable that his prophecy could be fulfilled. So huge was the scale of the temple. But when the Roman general Titus destroyed Jerusalem, his soldiers completely leveled the temple mount. The temple was destroyed. He left a portion of the Western Wall as a reminder of what the Jewish people had lost. Today you can go to Jerusalem and marvel at the size of the stones in that wall, although of the temple itself, nothing is left. It's interesting that Jesus wasn't impressed by the things that impress us. The disciples focused on the earthly and the material, but Jesus, who could see all time in a single glance, focused on eternal realities. What one thing can you do that will help you focus less on materialism and more on the things of God?